what is going on my beautiful ladies and gentlemen of the world as per usual timestamps in the description box for each and every match that is going to occur throughout this video as well as a link to the playlist if you want to see all of the others if this happens to be your first time watching okay whatever happened to the legacy oh that's right they made a shitty free to play multiplayer game thing I really liked Legacy of Kane when I was a kid. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Woo! And that's why you don't just randomly throw out overheads in neutral, because they are too slow. Damn, that projectile lasts forever? That's an interesting overdrive. That was an interesting combo. <laughs> Oh, that hurts. Finally gets a solid hit. Still gonna win the match off of this. No, yes. Finally gets a solid hit, and the nine just four dashes away. You gotta be really careful about your approaches against characters like nine who have so many movement options. And that is definitely a character you want to lock down. That is not somebody you want to, to like finally chase down, and then they just get to run free. The one saving grace for this Nauto so far is that, like, this 9 is really not landing any real hit confirms. They're just getting random hits here and there, so they're not getting any damage from all of it. Also, this 9 doesn't really seem to have any real neutral game plan. Aside from just air dash around and throw shit out and see what sticks. Which is a fine plan at like a lower level of competition, but once you start fighting good people, you gotta have better neutral than that. It'll work against somebody like me, because I'm impatient and I just jump into things. But I am not what I would consider a high level of competition. It was a good reversal. Because if they... I don't... I think that's consistent block stun. Oh, that was it? I thought that was 1-1. One, one. My bad. So that was actually really risky. They shouldn't have staggered it like that. Because they were obviously going to rapid cancel the last one, but I think that's consistent block stun. Um, if you don't stagger them the way that Naoto did. But yeah, unfortunately that was just a free reversal because of the staggering. That hit box, though. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a combo where they reset the timer on that in the middle of it and then go straight into another three steps. That was interesting. Could have definitely gotten a better punish than that. Ooh, they got everything they need. They got the reversal and they got a combo extender. And you can tell, they knew that too, because they immediately went in. Unfortunately. Oh! One 
It's a mix-up. There was no mix-up in there. You can't really ever... Will she live? No meter, yeah? Oh! You should definitely be dead. I was gonna... Like, if she had actually confirmed that. I don't know what her combo options are from that, but with the minimum damage applied from a distortion, which she had the meter for, that very well may have killed if she had hit confirmed with 2A. He just, I, I don't know why you would stop blocking low. I have not seen this guy actually throw out an overhead in the block string yet. There's one. That one's definitely a react. Yeah, they got hit again? Like, that spin is definitely reactable if you've fought enough Susanos. Man. Even off a of powered up, a boosted starter and a rapid cancel, she can't even hit 3,500. Oh, poor little girl. You train so much to be able to swing a sword around that that's fucking big and you see no actual results from it. Run the match, though. Got that going for it. I don't think I've ever actually seen this particular Susano win a match. <laughs> the wheel of fate is turning. It's probably the color. The more obnoxious the color, the more willing people are going to be to upload replays and then kicking your ass. Let nine go. What does this do? Something? Okay, don't do that. <laughs> I mean, that was really weird. He was just giving that nine a free out to like, like just giving that nine five free seconds to plan an escape. You can't just let up pressure like that. Not in a game as momentum based as most anime games are. Yeah, it sucks. Just a little bit too high for the second hit of J2C to hit. Or not J2C, just J2C. Yeah, it Why would you not use 236P? What the fuck, man? <laughs> this dude's just throwing it all away. He's had it multiple times and that there's just some really awkward mistakes. And then you just throw out 236B in neutral. Why the hell not? Damn! I don't know if that was intentional, but damn. Unfortunately, this Susano is unlikely to get a burst back. So I hope he unlocks DP. Because if not, he's going to be in trouble. Or that 9 is just going to have really shit setups that can be mashed out of with a 5B? 5B? Not even an A button! This is so sloppy on all sides. He might get his burst now. Nope. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, he did get his burst, but it's not gonna matter. Could you imagine if you could actually burst out of distortions? That one is probably irrelevant, because you just burst out and then get put right back into the laser. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one, action. Get 
But what if that became a thing? What if you could burst out of Tager 720? I'd be so mad. <laughs> but Tager keeps going. You burst out and you fall to the ground and just get to watch Tager. <laughs> just soaring down and nobody like, where the hell did he go? And then you get a free punish. I shouldn't be saying these things. It'll give Arc System Works ideas. And they'll totally take them. Kaka, you cannot backdash this character. It just doesn't work. She just keeps mashing a button and she'll hit you. She just freely option selects pretty much everybody's backdash in the game. Don't you wish you had something that easy? How much damage? Okay. Reaction though, she's dead. That does huge damage. No, that does less damage than it used to, doesn't it? Oh, nice rapid cancel. That used to do like 4k, didn't it? Am I crazy? I'm thinking of unlimited Talkaka, aren't I? I just have nightmares of unlimited bars and getting hit by that. I think that's what it is. mean when you make characters work that hard and they only get that much meanwhile my hits one button seven times <laughs> she gets 2k <laughs> ah! Trying so, there you go. Some people, man, like they just. They really only have like one combo in their muscle memory to combo into a distortion, and like they just go through the whole thing when they could have canceled into the distortion far earlier. And they actually, that would have been smarter for the sole reason that that Mai would have gotten less of her burst back. Like little optimizations, is if you think about them. You should be trying to apply them to your gameplay. Because you definitely, you want to give yourself every advantage. And they were going to get their burst back no matter what, but trying to extend the timer as long as possible. That's a very important thing. Especially now, where one overdrive hit confirmed. Could very well be it. Okay, never mind. This Mai's choking. Not anymore. Just swing the spear and hope it hits. Oh boy, didn't even need the burst. The wheel of fate is turning. Action. <laughs> Whatever happened to Zexo? This is the color he used to use, and I have not seen that dude in ages. Galileo recently popped back up. I saw him in a video. And he clearly hadn't really been playing very much because he was still in like rank 22 or something like that. Got a tech out of that. That was a very optimistic DP. If that Ragna had not jumped, that would have whiffed completely, and that Ragna may very well have, like, won the match off of it. With a good overdrive hit confirm, I think they could have killed off of that. I'm surprised all that combo. 
Please don't just throw out the... Oh, okay, I thought that was the start of the DP. And he just gets hit with waking up 5 feet. Oh, that hurts. Oh, no. Like, that was just kind of a bad move overall. That was so unnecessary. But then I just see the 4K pop up on the NXT Excel, and I just get angry. Now I want random Asriel to win. But of course, I never get what I want. What the hell are you doing? <sighs> Not sue me, please. You named yourself after what used to be a godlike RPG creating company. They made the, uh, the Lufia series. I loved that as a kid. I'm not being saved. What? <laughs> Three five A's. I've seen two staggered five A's. I've never once seen somebody do three of them. You should be dead. He's not going to die, because that was not a very good starter by that Relius. But if that Relius had chosen a better starter, he absolutely should have died for that DP, and it's truly unfortunate that he didn't. Because, obviously, he just lost the round. I should have fast-forwarded through all that. My bad. Oh my god. That's a start. It's a start. Nice dodge. If he'd thrown out 3D right there instead, this Relius would probably actually be dead. That's what, like, you can see. He knows, he understands the spacing. He can freely bait that out. Completely riskless to him. And you just keep fucking doing it. Oh, so he tried, but he didn't do the dodge that time. Got it, you cannot late tech this character. It's just not a good idea. Oh, God. And he doesn't confirm it! What? The shit? Y'all are both dumb. I hate both of these players. Probably should I would have- I think that was a burst worth saving. He wasn't dead. Now he's dead. I think that was a burst worth saving. Because the Azrael really wouldn't get that good of advantage afterward. And no matter what, at that point, like, whether or not, if you burst or if you just wait for the combo to end and then you tech, you're still one hit away from death, no matter what. So I think it was better to keep that burst. Ah, oh, new gadget finger, ladies and gentlemen. Nice! Uh, 
may have just choked it right there. This dude may have just fucked up. Nope. Lands the random sledge. That's a bummer. That was strange. He got a whole 1108 damage from it. Aren't you glad you used your overdrive? Oh boy. I'm very surprised that that wasn't a counter hit, to be perfectly honest. That just clash? Maybe it hit the beginning of the spark hold as it was coming out. Why though? Why do I watch net play replays? God damn it! Just serves to make me angry. I should just do what everybody else does. Take other people's streams, repost them. <laughs> Crazy Hakuman player Pura a peach show. Makes amazing plays. Must watch. That's how you get noticed. <sighs> Sadly. I dream of a world where people just ignore that shit. But they don't. I see like suggested shit in my... Uh, like how YouTube will suggest videos based on what you previously watched. Like, I watch a decent amount of Overwatch stuff. Because I like watching high-level Overwatch. And, you know, and I'll see, like, re people that have ripped straight from other people's streams. These people have YouTube channels where they'll, they'll post their own shit to begin with. But you still see titles like Best McCree in the World IDDQD Makes Amazing Plays Somebody Calls Him an Aimbot Hilarious Reaction 600,000 views. Meanwhile, IDDQ's channel has like 10,000 subs. Like, that just, that sucks. I don't actually know if that's true. I don't know how many subs he has. But it's definitely nowhere near 600,000. People clearly want to watch that dude play, so like, why not sub to the dude directly and ignore the motherfucker trying to profit off of somebody else's stuff? It's just, it irritates me. That was, yeah, that... I think if he had just done 5B right there, that would have gotten a punish. And he would have gotten a kill. And instead, this new got to reset the neutral. Wow! Wow. That actually really sucks. Not only did he get the burst, but he got the round win too. very possible that neither one of them will get their burst back by the end of this and paying attention to the news burst. I mean, depending on how streaky this goes, nah, she's gonna get it back by the end of the round. They both probably will, because Nu doesn't really have any kind of, like, insane damage that she can just pull out of her ass that's gonna prevent him from getting his burst back in time. If that Ragna had managed to maintain momentum all the way through the round, he definitely could have won. This is burst safe. He's... He's dead, and this is... Oh, you dropped it! That was 100% burst safe. That was a round win, and now he's getting hit by a Ragna with 8 seconds. What the fuck? Oh. I guess Karma came back on that news side. Like, they were just like, No, yeah, we know. You should have won this round. 
We'll force him to drop his combo so you can get the win. That hurts. I don't know why he just got hit to like maybe got caught on a jump startup. I don't know. But it is unwise. Woo! That autocorrect game though. It's unwise to try and like do anything but block on like his Susano does not have fast buttons, but he has very good buttons. And when you can time them properly, which you can definitely do on an opponent's wake up, it's free. Like you really you don't really get to do much. But you just that's one of the few moments that you kinda just have to respect Susano. And this Mai is one hundred percent losing this match because she doesn't. And she's dead if she doesn't burst. Why did you? Okay. I guess she understood that, like, I fucked up. Just take your game and leave. Boy, that was an ass beating. How long did that, did that even take a full minute? Like, I'm pretty sure when I checked. When I glanced over it, was it like 25 20? And then now when I glance over, it's about 26 20 at the end of that round. The wheel of Holy shit. Why is everybody dropping their combos? You're at a high level, you shouldn't be dropping your shit. It's especially bad if you're dropping your combos against Tager, because his hurt box makes it incredibly easy to consent. Like, other characters, I don't think that DP would have hit, because he was pretty damn far away at the start of it. Man, I feel like I am just watching some of the worst defense I've ever seen in my life with these replays. Like, nobody really wants to block, nobody wants to... They just want to jump around, hit buttons, and do shit. Which you just, especially as Tager, that's not something you get to do. Which is kind of a bummer. Oh my god, he could have followed that up too. I don't know why he didn't. He do get a free combo off a counter hit. 6 2 3 C. Like, why is everybody's dropping everything? See, that would not have worked against a single other character in this entire cast. But because of how goddamn fat Tager is, that barely caught the edge of him from how far away that Jin was. We get to end it on a bullet match? Sweet! Let's watch Bullet lose! <laughs> That is a bad start. It wasn't even a counter hit or anything. It just got popped in the face. I wonder, I bet S can keep this up. Like an S who has truly mastered movement, mastered the projectiles. Like, Bullet can't get in on that. Give her a shot. Took it away. Probably should have just saved that burst, honestly. Like, you're not getting in. You're too low of health. Look at where her barrier's at. That was just a foregone conclusion that that was gonna happen. So probably better to just save the burst. Oh, this is just painful to watch. I mean, I don't know what I... I, I Generally, you kind of have an idea of like, yeah, I would do this. And that worked, but it absolutely should not have. God, 
<sighs> she didn't even get heat up from that. Oh man. It's just a It really is just painful to watch bullet matches. Because like I mean like I said, in general you can watch you can watch somebody play. You can watch any other character play and you can be like, you know, you could have done this better, you could have done this better, you could have done that better. I never have a similar answer for bullet. It's just sorry, you're using bullet. What else can I say? And that is a shitty existence to have. <laughs> <laughs>